We're back on Fod Island, and uh, you know this time you got a little UFC experience under your belt. So I mean, give me the idea. How much how much different does it feel this this time around? Well, to be honest, it's pretty much the same to me. You know, I enjoyed the first trip here when it, when I faced uh, Dequan on. I don't know what number the fight island was, but never mind. But still, I I have I have blessed. You know, it's it's really nice here. Yeah. This opportunity now, you're on a main card already. You know, starting yeah. your career. It's, it's network television back in the United States. I know you didn't grow up watching ABC <laughs> or anything, but does that mean something to be fighting on network television main card? Well, first of all, it again, it's an honor to to be given opportunity to participate in the main card again. You know, I think it's it's very it's a big deal for me you know to at such a young age at my career at at the start of my career basically to be able to open up a main card and as you said to be on the national television which i which as i understood watches a million people you know so it's a big deal for me and a huge opportunity yeah, yeah. were you surprised when they came to you with this matchup right like two contender series guys two undefeated guys i mean were you surprised well, at first, yeah, I, I didn't think that they they was gonna put two guys with who are undefeated at uh, such a young point in their careers. But then I gave it some thought, and you know, he, my opponent had uh, problems at contender series with a guy who had, let's say, similar style to mine, and me my, myself had uh, trouble with a guy who is like him. So. You know, it's an interesting matchup, definitely, and I see what they did, what they did there. But yeah, I think when I give it some thought, I think it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. What do you think? I mean, uh, he's had some time off, right? So it's been a while. What, what do you think about his style, about where he's going to be at coming in? Well, I I don't know much about his time, his layoff, you know, and uh, me myself also had a big lay layoff before my last fight. So I don't think that means much, you know. As long as you're training and staying ready, that that won't that won't impa impact how you perform, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I think he's gonna be on his top game, and I'll be the same. Nice. Last thing for me, what's the goal here? Like you said, I mean, you're so young and early in your career, right? But I mean, you beat an undefeated guy on a main card on network television. I mean, are you? trying to announce yourself as a, as a contender already or what, what is the goal here well i definitely want to reach the top at one point i know that it's not realistic to you know do one two fights three four fights even and call yourself a contender so i won't you know fly high you know i'm gonna take step by step as long as it takes and i'm gonna do my best to always put a top performance and to you know go victory after victory till at one point I get the chance to fight for the belt or you know that's that's some long distance goal for me and I'm gonna try to achieve that. The Since your last fight a lot of uh, stars have kind of been made at the middleweight division like Kevin Holland, uh, Marvin Vittori, Joaquin Buckley. Are you looking at all these young fighters emerging with you and seeing a lot of fun matchups down the road? Uh, yeah definitely I've, I've noticed uh, a lot of them in my in 2020 when i was you know having cancelled matchups so i i was looking for my, for my opponents at that time my opponents opponents right so there i noticed kevin holland when i was supposed to fight john phillips i noticed him there and yeah he did a great job i think like how many fights five or five fights in one year that's a lot and he did great so yeah definitely lots of lots of prospects and young guys are coming up in the middle middleweight division and you know down the road it's gonna be a very stacked division definitely it is even now but in in some time it will be crazy stacked and like you said kevin won five fights uh last year and then marvin tory took that last minute fight against jack romans and so these guys are taking these opportunities is that something you're looking to uh do the same in 2020 just fight as much as possible uh, 2021 you mean <laughs> yeah well as long as i'm healthy and i'm i'm prepared i'm gonna accept every opportunity there is i don't i don't feel like i'm in 
I don't have the time or I'm rushing something. I, I just want to take it step step by step. But if a good opportunity presents itself, I'm definitely going to grab it. But you know, I'm young. I am. I have ten fights so far. That's that's a nice number. And now eleven going to be. So I think that. I'm not in a position to rush anything, you know, I can take it slow, take my time and, you know, success will or there be, it will follow, yeah. How's your thesis? Next question. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's still, like last time you asked me, it's uh, still on that point, but uh, honestly, I, I do have plans on finishing that, it's just that. I have some problems. <laughs> Just kidding. <coughs> what was the feedback like back at home? The last time you were here, you said you wanted to be a big star in, in, in Serbia. Well, definitely lots of press covered uh, my success and the victory. It was a bit unexpec unexpected, to be honest, but you know, it felt good to to see that someone rec recognized the success that me and my team did for 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 the country because we represented Serbia and it felt good, you know, seeing so many people, you know, recognize that, support us and also lots of people that didn't know me now follow me. They they became fans, you could say, and I'm really glad that we are spreading the good influence o on our you know people in back in Serbia and it, it also it's not just in Serbia the whole region whole Balkan is you know following supporting so I'm I'm very glad about that so do you feel more pressure because of that because the last time you were here no one really expected anything from you back at home and now as you said the whole region is watching well yeah I, to be honest don't feel any pressure I don't let that pressure me you know uh, my performance is my performance and no one can influence that. I believe we we did our homework and we prepared well for this fight and that's it. No amount of people watching can pressure me or make me you know, lose sleep or anything coming up to a fight. Do you receive any support from Russia? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Lots of uh, portals and uh, you know, digital medias have wrote have wrote uh, ar articles about my you know previous victory about this uh, upcoming match. So I've definitely noticed from let's say those foreign uh, media the the most uh, support from Russia. Yeah, definitely. making the transition to the contender and the UFC, obviously you've had a very successful start, like how much confidence has that given you moving forward in your own ability? Well, you know, we always train and I, I was confident, confident back when I was a contender, I was confident on my debut, I'm confident now because we're always trying to improve and we're, all, we're always learning some new stuff, but after let's say uh, my contender series f fight, I I gain a bit like a bigger level of confidence because I never experienced a three round fight and at such a high tempo and pace. So that was definitely something new for me at the time. And just experiencing that has given me like, I feel a bit easier, you know, it's like, I know when, if, if we go to the deep water, I know I can handle handle the pressure, handle the, that my cardio can handle it, you know. So, in in that term, definitely feels good to to be able to overcome that adversity. Did you expect it to be like a different level once you started fighting in America? Excuse me. Did you expect it to be a level up when you got to the UFC? Well, yeah, definitely. You know, UFC is the like it's a UFC than ten empty places, <laughs> if you ask me. So. Definitely the top top and hardest competition is at the UFC right now and I think that each opponent there's you can just say like yeah it's an easy fight or something based on 
I don't know score or anything. That guy is in the UFC for a reason, you know. They they don't give give out contracts, be, you know, like a gift. <laughs> so definitely, I take everyone here seriously, and I don't, um, you know, think less of any fighter based on their score or I don't know what. We just take it seriously, whoever we are facing.